You may be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying to us all the mystical union that exists between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently and discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Joshua and Caitlin, I charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as a foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows you are about to make are kept faithfully, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your Heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy, and the home you are establishing will abide in peace. No other ties are more tender no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. Joshua, do you come this day with the intent of having this woman to be your wedded wife, living together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep only to her so long as you both shall live. I do. And Caitlin, do you come this day with the intent of having this man to be your wedded husband, living together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Very good. I want to invite Christine Casson to come as she reads for us our holy scripture for this day. If I speak in the tongue of tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding God or a clanging symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries, mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have the faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but, when, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. I never come to this place, and this place being the altar in the church, without remembering uh, 13 years ago when I stood where you were standing just a moment ago, and I watched my wife, not quite as long a center aisle as you had to walk down, but walk down that center aisle 
to join me there. The greatest of these is love, Paul writes to the Corinthians. But faith and hope are there as well. It is faith that got you this far. Probably a little bit of hope. It's probably a little bit of hope. Maybe a lot of hope. Um, but from this point forward, the greatest of these will be the love that will take you from this point and walk all the way back down that aisle. You just walk down. But it'll be an amazing venture, not only down that long center aisle and out that front door, but an amazing venture throughout the rest of your life. And our prayer is, all of our prayers, is that this God's Spirit will be with you as you venture together. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, Joshua and Caitlin, who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the steadfast strength of your love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all their days that they may reach out in concern and service to the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now if you will face one another and join hands. And Joshua, if you will repeat after me. I, Joshua, take you, Caitlin. I, Joshua, take you, Caitlin. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forth. For better, for worse. For better, or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. And there too I pledge you my faith. And there too I pledge you my faith. And Caitlin, if you will, repeat after me. I, Caitlin, take you, Joshua. I, Caitlin, take you, Joshua. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. And there too I pledge you my faith. And there too I pledge you my faith. The wedding ring is the outward and the visible sign of the inward and spiritual grace and love between Joshua and Caitlin. It signifies to us all the uniting of them in holy matrimony through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Joshua, if you will take Caitlin's ring and place it on the third finger of her left hand. Hold it there and repeat after me. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith and abiding love. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith and abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. There you go. Slide your ring off. There you go. Place this on his third finger. You hold it there and repeat after me. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now you can face me. Very good. Just like that. For as much as Joshua and Caitlin have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this community, and there too have pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by the joining of hands and the giving and the receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife, together in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God had joined together, let no one put asunder. In these tender moments, Joshua and Caitlin will, will now come forward and they will light the unity candle, symbolic of two families coming to one and joining together to form a new family as the two outside lights come together to light the center candle. Let us pray. O eternal God, creator and preserver of us all, giver of all spiritual grace, author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon Joshua and Caitlin, whom we bless in thy name. 
that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant made between them and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to thy laws. Look graciously upon them that they may love, honor, and cherish each other and so live together in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. May God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you and to keep all of us May the Lord graciously with his favor look upon all of us and so fill us with all spiritual benediction and love that we may so live together in this life and you may so live together in your new life together that in the world to come you may have life everlasting. Amen. Joshua, you may kiss your bride. Return, return, and face the congregation and get your friends. It is my honor and privilege to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Shaw. Mm -hmm. 